Are you really ready for a pug? Maybe like me, you are one of the millions of fans of Doug the Pug, or the pugs that play Minecraft with Dan TDM, or our own rescue rock stars, Kilo and Fishstick. Pugs are so charming and cute and funny and friendly. What's not to love? Here are a few things we think you should know first. Ancient pugs are believed to have been bred in China as companions for emperors. They were lap dogs that looked like proud little lions and their forehead wrinkles looked like the Chinese signs for prince. Traders took the breed to Europe as royal gifts more than 400 years ago and they lived to amuse their owners and be adored and pampered like royalty. The pug reportedly became the official dog of the House of Orange in 1572 after a pug saved the life of the prince by alerting him to the approach of assassins. This does not surprise me at all, as my Kilo the Pug alerts me to the arrival of any strangers, especially the poor mailman. Here are a few quick facts. The pug is a squarely built, deep-chested, compact breed with short but strong legs, a tight, cutely curled tail, and an unmistakable, flat, squishy, wrinkled face with large, round, dark, protruding eyes. They are the largest of the toy breeds, recognized by the AKC since 1885. They come in four different colors. Fawn, apricot fawn, silver fawn, or black. They are a flat face or brachycephalic breed like bulldogs. They frequently have an underbite. They're usually a pretty healthy breed, except for occasional breathing issues, and they can live to up to 15 years old. However, you have to be very aware of the climate you live in, as pugs can suffer in extreme temperatures, especially the heat. Their bulging eyes are also vulnerable to injury. The pug is known as the shadow or Velcro dog. They crave company and love to be with their humans. With Kilo, every move I make Every breath I take, he'll be watching me. I often wake up to his cute little face an inch from mine staring at me in the morning. He happily uses me as a pillow, a ladder, a source of heat and a toy. He expects to be allowed to get comfy on me, my lap, my bed and my sofa. These comical little clowns are very adaptable and can make great house or apartment pets as long as they get lots of love and attention. They should not be left alone for long stretches if possible. They need to be supervised and the house should be regularly pug-proof as they are very resourceful about finding food and can be rather mischievous. They're usually quite sociable with other dogs, especially pugs. A group of pugs is known as a grumble and many cities have pug meetups and grumbles you can attend. Pugs love food and they equate food with love. It can be so hard to resist their little faces looking up. I confess, I often do cave, but they really need to eat an appropriate diet as they can be prone to obesity. They should weigh from 14 to 18 pounds. In terms of grooming, pugs require regular face cleaning in their wrinkles, nail trims, which Kilo really hates, teeth cleaning, and occasional baths. What surprised me most was that they shed a lot all year. Yes, we have black pug hair everywhere. Pugs are not exactly natural athletes or trick dogs like border collies, but they have strong little legs, endless curiosity and unbridled enthusiasm. Pugs get energy in bursts for races or what they call zoomies, but they don't have great stamina, so they're often happy on the couch napping beside you, and in many cases snoring. They need regular mental and physical exercise. Kilo takes several short walks every day and has lots of puzzles, toys and chews. He won't chase a ball or a disc, but he enjoys an audience and he loves playing games with me especially go find or football with an empty plastic water bottle. He also likes mini agility. He's so fast and fearless. And he can jump several times his own height. 
He's reached many things he shouldn't have, leaping up on tables or pulling bags off counters. Although pugs are smart and eager to please, they can be a little stubborn to train. They're very food motivated dogs, so make sure you have lots of treats on hand and be very positive and very patient. I rescued Kilo at two years old and all he knew was sit. Now, three years later, after much love and hard work and many, many treats, he is crate trained, almost toilet trained and knows over 30 tricks or behaviors. He still doesn't like peeing or pooping outside in the snow or rain. And if you are a perfectionist and not prepared to put up with the occasional accident or pug crime, a pug may not be perfect for you. Many pugs, including Kilo, seem to have selective deafness and do not have 100% reliable recall. Kilo often doesn't respond to his name, but then he can hear the crackle of a treat bag or the drop of a single piece of kibble on the wood floor from a deep sleep. I always keep him on a leash out walking. We often get asked which breeds are good around kids. Every dog's different, of course, but the pug is a fun-loving, robust, compact little companion dog, and if properly trained and socialized, should be great with kids. Kids just have to be trained to treat any pet with respect and be especially careful of the pug's eyes. Although pint-sized, this breed has a big heart and personality, but it's mostly quite calm and gentle, which makes them an ideal choice. If you love pugs, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos. Let us know any questions or pug stories in the comments below.